neurosurgical devices, I've already alluded to deep brain and spinal cord stimulator devices and the movement tracking and other data within these. The granular data here has the potential to affect disability claims and, cr and criminal cases, and I think these are really important implications. Within the responsive nurse, nurse simulator device as well, we are now recording electrocorticography data. The data are transmitted over the internet. There has to be some close proximity between the home monitor and the patient, and there is a wired connection to the internet. But the data in this and other devices are stored on a corporate server. Security is up to that corporation. Does the patient own that data? How, what would happen if the patient wanted the data to be erased? How would they contact the corporation? How would the corporation actually do that? Or does the, the, is the data now in the repository of the corporation and because it's been de-identified, it can never be removed from the larger data set? We can already infer things like a patient's sleep-wake cycle or medication compliance, but think about what else we might be able to pull off of ECOG or other data sources in the future with better um, artificial intelligence uh, paradigms. The other thing is to think about where the holes in the system are. Where do data for these patients that we see in our offices go? Obviously, a patient's implanted device has the data. And key. When we change a battery, a generator for a patient, that generator typically goes into medical waste. It's not erased, it's not deleted, it's not wiped in any way before it goes into medical waste. And a lot of those devices are now Bluetooth responsive. So if I happen to have a Bluetooth receiver close to a bag of trash, I might be able to receive a signal from the device even after it's explanted out of the patient. And that device has a diagnosis, has a patient name, has the patient settings on it. So there's HIPAA information in a discarded device. The patient's programmer and controller that they keep with them at home has information on it. Every clinician programmer that they interact with, whether it's from a company representative or from the clinicians working with them, will have information about them on there. Uploads to the clinic and hospital EMR. Um, then there's communication that goes in between clinicians and company technical representatives that may be variably secured. That we also the proprietary network database of each manufacturer. And then the backup servers or cloud storage devices that the manufacturer has contracted with to have external uh, reserve data as well. And each one of those has its own rules to, to privacy and security uh, that are important. So this schematic here illustrates uh, where between the patient and all these other areas, there are potential places for HIPAA security risks uh, along the way. And pretty much at every handoff point, there's a vulnerability to having HIPAA security uh, breached in some way. So you say, well, that's great. Are patients protected for um, unconsented disclosure because I have the, the uh, right to refuse uh, unwarranted search and seizure. I have the Fifth Amendment right not to commit, uh, incriminate myself, right? And I also have HIPAA to protect me because this is patient privacy identifiable information. Well, depending on where the data are, the extent of the data, and where the patient is and the laws in that area, uh, no, those aren't a, a, a adequate protection. HIPAA applies if the data are stored at a HIPAA-covered entity clinic or hospital or physician or insurance or healthcare or somebody who has a business relationship with that clinician. That generally does not apply to these data that are being stored at the manufacturer site. If HIPAA does apply, people can authorize or consent to disclosure of identifiable data, but there's a lot of exceptions to the HIPAA rules that means that they, no authorization is necessary. So one of those exceptions is law enforcement use, subpoena, of the data can be possible. Public health and regulatory purposes can also require release of the data without a patient consent. So HIPAA does not mean that the patient can protect their own data from it being disclosed. Additionally, a lot of the manufacturers are not HIPAA covered. So the storage at those manufacturer sites may be weak as well. 